Hello, my name is Michelle Washington, and I am the instructional coordinator at the Austin Community College Fashion Incubator. It's Workshop Wednesday, and we love to share with you different tips and insights about the fashion industry. One of them, time and sacrifice. Time and sacrifice is one of the basic points of what it takes to start your own fashion business and to be a designer and to work in the industry as a whole. What you should know, the challenges of starting a fashion business, which are many, how to evaluate your readiness for the fashion industry. So think about all the things that you've learned so far, or if you're new to the business, think about what you need in order to learn more, to get started. Find out what your gaps are and learn. Learn what you don't know and learn the things that you gain through very excellent advice through maybe other experts and classes. You also want to have a vision for your future success. As we know, business is tough and the fashion industry is particularly tough. Let's get down to some real talk. 90% of fashion startups fail within three to five years. So that means what do you need to become a success? What do you need to learn and fill in those gaps so that you don't become a part of the three to five years. You want to go longer than five years. You want longevity for your business in learning the ins and outs and where you need to begin and the tools to succeed are necessary. Building a business is time consuming and it takes a lot of time and effort and most of all patience. People often underestimate the amount of time needed to start up a clothing brand. It takes research. It takes asking the right questions. And it also takes perseverance. Building a brand takes customer interaction and trust. Get to know your customer. Find out who your customer is. Of course, you love your own designs, but how about the people that you're trying to reach? Think of yourself as a CEO first, and it's hard to hear, a designer second. You will spend more time learning how to run a successful business than you will designing. That means you need to learn about accounting, financing, the human resource aspects, marketing, managing these things outside of actual design. It takes a lot of time and know-how, and that's where we always want to fill in the gaps and learn what needs to be done. You will likely spend less than 10% of your time designing. As an entrepreneur, as a designer, you have to wear multiple hats. And as you're wearing those multiple hats and you're burning the midnight oil, as we say, you will spend less than 10% of your time designing. But this can be done with proper time management. Are you bringing something unique to the market? What you need is what marketing gurus call unique selling proposition, USP. Your USP is what makes your business stand out and gives customers a reason to buy. The difference between success and failure for your fashion business, pinpointing what makes your fashion business unique allows you to focus your sales and marketing effectively. For more information, please feel free to email us at fashion.incubator at austincc.edu. 
Also, follow us and find our website, austincc.edu slash fashion incubator. <laughs>